In the year 1997, the future is in chaos and turmoil. Mankind is on the brink of extinction. Brave survivors band together and build a time displacement apparatus to receive a signal from a parallel future. This transmission is the Boondicast. Vundercast. I am your host, Steven. With me today, very special guest, the number one favorite person in the world, master of ceremonies, king of the mid, queen of the midnight movie matinee, the only. You're the master of ceremonies right now. Yeah, but I'm trying to give you titles so that you feel powerful and in control of a microphone and have control and stuff. Hi, it's Danny, Danielle. What's up? And commentating, coming on over from the pop culture flowchart, the one and only. Why are we not on the pop culture flowchart? Because I've decided to do away with a million names for a million pods. No! So... Instead of having all these subcategories, I'm just going to have the Vundacast... I know it's really nerdy to have subcategories, but it's it's too much work. It's too much brain power. No, it's awesome. Nobody wants to follow that. And if you do want to follow that, please tweet us at Vundablog. V U N D A B L O G. No, it makes sense because they're differentiating brands. Exactly, it's a different brand. But we're not really a different brand. We all talk about the same shit. Every brand's just me just talking and trying to fill up time, so it might as well be just the same thing. Yeah, pop culture flowchart is the one featuring me. Can you just introduce them? The one and only Mr. J debating away, as always, every day. And Mrs. J trying to keep him in check. Um, Today we're going to talk about the upcoming film slate that was dropped upon us. By the benevolent Warner Brothers Corpora- Corporation. 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 <laughs> what would a corporation be? Is that like a dead thing that has it's, a, its own it's like when country? The corporation takes over the country. Yes. Yeah. Eventually. Oh, like the United States. The corporation. Yeah. Yeah. In like RoboCop Eight, the and corporation Jeff OCC Johns takes over. The president of Whoa. the corporation. Jeff Johns is still going to be master of ceremonies, man. Yes. Well. That's, crazy. That's, the, that's the word of the day, master ceremonies. <laughs> that's not a word, that's three words together. <laughs> that's the nitpick of the day. It's three words. Should we start screaming every time you say it like Pee Wee Herman? Ah. Go for it. That day, uh, Captain Cole will be the general of our army. So, originally, after Man of Steel, Warner Brothers was like, don't worry, guys, in 2015... You'll get to see Batman versus Superman. Yeah. And we thought, whoa, we're going to see Star Wars, and we're going to see Batman versus Superman in the same year. It's going to be crazy. And then I guess they got too ambitious for their own good, or I don't know what happened, but they pushed back Batman versus Superman. Well, they also Dawn of Justice. So, like December. Yeah, they moved it from May That's to December. That's because Harrison Ford broke his leg. Which is dumb. They should have just... Push it back all the so way just to CGI his leg? They should have cut that. off his leg <laughs> no. and put a green I'm robot saying, leg on it. If you're going to push it, just push it back to 2016. I want my Star Wars in May, not in December. This is not the Star Wars in May podcast. <laughs> this is the DC May. Comics Star podcast. Wars it's May the 4th, May. be with you. Not May the December be with you. May or December be with you? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it makes no sense. I can't. I'm, I'm trying to come up with a way to defend Star Wars in Christmas time, but I have no defense for it. I agree with you. And everyone knows the holiday special was the worst. Mary. You have to. You have to see it to believe it. Which means that episode seven is going to be terrible. We're not talking about Star Wars episode seven right now. 
Well, and it's not going to be terrible. Why'd you bring up Star Wars then? It's not going to be terrible. It's going to be, be awesome. Okay. Batman v Superman was delayed <laughs> till 2016. So, mind you, right now when we're talking, it is the year 2014. We are so far away from these movies. In the year. It's at least a year from the time this movie's released. At least, if not more. Right? Right. Not two years? This sucks. So because this sucks, we're podcasting about it. It's because DC sucks in general. No, but... No, no, DC does not suck in general. At the moment, they do, and you know how I feel about the situation. Please enlighten us. Why does DC suck at the (laughs) moment? It sucks for me because I am a woman and they don't like me. I was having this discussion with my friend Jez over a plate of Denny's and as she said to me so pointedly, DC does not love you, Danielle. You are in an abusive relationship with DC. And I began to cry. I am. I'm in an abusive relationship with DC. They keep making decisions that I find poor. DC is delivering to you as a woman the first female-led movie superhero film. Wonder Woman's gonna have her own movie. Finally. And it only took... We only have to wait... 50 years. To 2017. And Marvel still hasn't announced... To 2017, and they're still gonna cast that stupid, skinny woman. Gal Gadot? Don't hate on Gal Gadot. I don't like her as well. She was in the Fast and the Furious. She loved fun. I don't care how fast and how furious she was. She's not my Wonder Woman. She, her love story was the best part of the Fast and Furious films. <laughs> so that means that she should carry an entire film as Wonder Woman. Do you understand? Maybe that? it well, does. Can you give her a chance at least? No, say, I don't want to give thing her about a Michael chance. Keaton, right? I'm over nobody it. wanted him to be Batman. Who said nobody wanted Michael Keaton to be Batman? When, when it was first and announced yes. uh-huh. that Michael Keaton was going to be Batman, everyone was like, Mr. Mom, Mr. Mom is going to be Batman. Batman. Yes, oh, Beetlejuice. Yeah. But here's my Why thing is that I feel, I feel, well, here's my problem. I think Michael Keaton has proved his acting talent with Beetlejuice. Juice, whereas Gal Gadot has not proven that she can act her way out of a shoe. A shoe! You haven't seen her audition tape. <laughs> I've seen her audition tape. A shoe! She has to play... What is Wonder Woman's character? She has to be You... I'm strong. just telling this right now. She has to... I'm telling this right now. You can never use Fast and the Furious as an evidence of acting talent for me. Ever, ever, ever. Fast and the Furious is why Paul Walker, we've already discussed this, had his mediocre career forever because it's like giving the special kid at school like the chocolate milk that the, this is his special chair and his special I would milk. I would attest I, his special milk. that I would not compare him to a special needs child <laughs> I would I would stand up for Paul Walker in no there. way I would attest that Tyrese's best performances happened in the Fast and Furious films I would argue that Tyrese's best performances <laughs> don't exist because he's a terrible actor <laughs> Oh, just that joke. These bad. people don't have talent. They're in a movie where most of it is fast cars and flipping. They have such little to so do. So maybe we don't need that much talent in order to depict people no. that are impervious to bullets and can jump through the sky. Yeah. And we don't punch need the aliens talent. in the face. We don't need the talent. That's why they keep casting top tier talent to play Batman to play Spider-Man to play you know Sup- Superman is the no. only one that they always keep picking some random ass motherfucker from some <laughs> fucking country somewhere that's, that's the only one where they're like well we need a different guy. that's cause they know that Superman is gonna be the star maker <laughs> uh huh they know that just by putting that's an S on someone's chest they become iconic that's what they're thinking with Wonder Woman we can just pluck someone. In fact, it's make them a star. That's that's a compliment to Wonder that's Woman. Compliment. That's a compliment to Wonder Woman. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll believe when I see it. Where Batman has no abilities, so he has to rely on his acting. So in three years, women will finally get <laughs> their film. So how could you say DC doesn't love women? And it will be called Wonder Woman that, because first of all, women in comic books are sexualized. That's for men, okay? That's not for women. Not in every comic. That's book. not for women. We like romantic comedies. We like dramas. We don't want to see a fucking co- about violent. We don't want to see a violent woman, and, a, and she's like a fucking skinny girl. She's like she's not even. She's not like 
I think like a wrestler would have been better to cast her, like a woman with muscles and stuff. Like the girl. Linda Carter didn't have muscles. Yeah, but Linda Carter was Linda Carter, and that was back then. And she was beautiful, and she looked like more like a regular woman. This girl is a supermodel. She, she just had. This uh, TV just had show was silly. She just had big boobs, but she was still skinny. You you said it, not me. She was, still <laughs> skinny. Thigh, she was still skinny. Yeah, she was thin, but it's different. She had thighs. She wasn't no average size woman. She was She was skinny. She was an average size woman. Yeah, she was not then, no average yes, size woman. She, she was, was like a supermodel. She was super hot. What are you talking about? The she average beautiful. size woman is what size 10, 12? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. She was not on no ten. I'm not, I, like I haven't been surveying six. women recently. Or four. Yeah, but, but she doesn't. It's it's different. Like she's not an average woman. She's like a. It doesn't matter. Like Lucy Lawless, right? As Zena, that's what the fuck I want. She wasn't. See. I don't want to see. She's super skinny too. No, but not by that. She, 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 she has like a regular person some, build. Well, There's had, a difference between skinny Carter. and tone. That's she had more I'm muscle talking. than Linda Carter, but she was still skinny. They should have cast the perfect casting if you could. Time Listen, travel and first, pick people. The first Superman was perfectly cast, I think. Listen. Christopher Reeves. Huh? Brandon Ralph. Christopher and, Reeves? No, like the the one that just came out. Henry, Henry Cavill. Cavill. Yeah. Okay. He's like perfect. <laughs> He's perfect. But, He's a fine looking man. Yeah. And he has muscle. And you're gonna tell me you're gonna get a fucking skinny girl? Like get a girl with muscle. But she has like magical power. She doesn't need to have physical she better, muscles. She better so then why be eating so then five why dozen Superman eggs to be roughly the size muscle? of large. Why does Superman have to have muscle? He doesn't. Christopher Reeves was the perfect okay, Superman. Well then, he was better than Henry Cavill. He didn't have all. And the as muscles. a woman, exactly. I enjoy violence. Be. I want violence. I just it's the oversexualization. I feel like they're trying to make her lighter than everybody else. Yeah. She thank, looks, you. Like, pretty. thank you. Thank you. I don't what know. I'm just bothers me but I mean that's not even gonna it's th- that's she's been that's been raging okay. forever so even I'm not even gonna try to talk about that because I just feel like looks more regular the over sexualization is, is with us and we keep trying to change it and we can kind of just sort of fight against it. that's not what I'm concerned about I'm concerned about is this girl talented enough to play Wonder Woman with any sort of integrity and, and genuine emotion because like you movie. said like you said Stephen you go, it doesn't require that much talent to run around and spin and shoot things. And that's true, but guess what? Every time they cast somebody who doesn't have enough talent to give those characters depth, guess what happens? They get lost in their own movie, okay? Case in point, Ryan fucking Reynolds. Sorry, bro. You got lost in your own movie. Part of the problem was the terrible special effects, but part of the problem was he was way too Ryan Reynolds and not enough How Hal Jordan. Jordan, okay? It's the truth. I he like didn't. Him. He didn't have enough. Like he didn't have enough in in in, 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 in in emotion into the story of the character. Why do we like the Dark Knight series so much? It's not just because of the fact that like it's just so well done. It's because Christopher Bale as, as Bruce Wayne has real grit and like integrity to the character. He He's gives a good actor. you. He gives you something for Bruce Wayne to do, and it's interesting. And like, I, I just yeah. Andrew Garfield is. I don't. I don't find those movies perfect. I think they're very problematic. But Andrew Garfield is an amazing Spider-Man. Oh no! Because he's so good. His British accent. Half the time, his the British second accent movie comes out. Came he's out. such a good Peter Parker. I love no. him. The best. He Maguire. can't even act. He can't even do Mag- a, he's a, a New York accent. The, he's, Peter, Parker Peter Parker doesn't, doesn't have a New York accent. You want Peter Parker to be you like, hey, pizza, hey, hey, you, hey guys. you guys, I just really Spider-Man. Well, he's not supposed to have, but the thing is that Andrew Garfield is like cute. Like, he's supposed to be geeky, like Tobey Maguire. Like, I love him. That's like my favorite all time. Yeah. Like, so Wonder Woman will wait, be in wait, Batman. I want to defend season. Ryan Reynolds though. It's not. It wasn't his fault. The screenplay was all over the fucking place. Yeah. Too many villains. He was good. Trying to do Hector Hammond and Parallax and Sinestro. Trying to build too much. I don't think he should have been do Hal Jordan. Things. I think he got lost in the role. No, I don't think he should have that been is Hal Jordan. Jordan. He's a cocky. No, I think they could have. I guy. think they could have picked a better a better actor for Hal Jordan. I don't think he was right for the. It was. It was a screenplay. So we'll get our first peek in a year plus. At Wonder Woman and Batman v Superman, oh, God. Dawn of Justice. Hey, what has Marvel done for you lately? Uh, they delivered us no. Guardians of the Galaxy, um, the most entertaining film have, of the year. Female, they have just made Thor a woman. 
They have Black Widow as the partner to Captain America in one of the biggest as summer the movies. Partner to, co- it to Captain America. It doesn't. Okay, she have her own you movie. can't. The the she tidal have wave. Her own movie. The t- okay, yes, exactly. But the tidal wave is slow. But the tidal wave is moving far faster with Marvel than it is with DC, yeah. which is a slow crawl. A Wonder slow Woman has crawl. Twenty seventeen. Wonder Woman's on the slate. Marvel has no girls on the slate. And. I would also say Wonder Woman also has an animated feature. Black Widow doesn't even have an animated feature. She has like a Black Widow Punisher title. You're right. Mar- when it comes to animated. movies, Marvel doesn't have as much. When it comes to the comic books, they're actually doing more things. In the, the TV characters. side, though, exactly. they're pushing women hard. Pushing women all over the place. Where, who, Marvel? Yeah. Yes. They had Agent Carter. That's yep. a show starring a okay. woman about a whole thing. Half of Agent Coulson's but team no, is but beautiful no women. Chicken butt. DC has Supergirl coming. When? So no, I wait. Would trump keep your Supergirl your coming Carter. off my podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I would trump your Agent Carter with a Supergirl, superhero, sometime about. Marvel takes far more risks. DC doesn't take enough risks. As far as I'm concerned, every DC care, every DC superhero has now been gridified. They all apparently wear gray, black, and bronze, and they're all the same person. I find that they doesn't matter. That, the, the, I find that in the TV land, they actually are taking the risk to give their characters actual like. Characterness, where I feel all the movies are the same. Well, I'm, what I'm gonna say is that my nieces don't Dark watch that scary. Scary. No, 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 they don't want to see it because the woman they're representing is is it's not. It's you not got a black robot. canary on Arrow. My nieces don't. They don't like that. Emily doesn't like that. She doesn't fucking like that shit. It, it's not. That's the truth. It's not. It's not. They're not. They cannot relate to a beautiful woman. Who the fuck can relate to a beautiful woman? Nobody. <laughs> Arrow's beautifulness. You can't relate to the beautiful woman. That's why I hated wait. Stephen Amell when I first saw him because but I can't. no man can love a man with abs that go up a sliding pole <laughs> like that. That's crazy. I don't relate to Arrow to Arrow's beautifulness or Henry Cavill's beautifulness. It's different. You don't understand. For women, I don't like. I don't like the way it's pr- they're projected. So hold on. Like, so when wait, wait, wait. Like, this is this is what, wait, wait. This is what I'm gonna try to say. But wait, if you're gonna be, if you're but gonna Henry be, Cavill be, was perfect for Superman because <laughs> right? he was beautiful. <laughs> but we can't cast a beautiful woman because you know why? You know why I say that? Because even to be an evil villain, women, you still have to be beautiful and be skinny, right? That's but not true, Kathy man. Bates. Kathy Bates, misery. But to be a man. <laughs> that was like man, 30 years ago and she's supposed to be, to be a She still plays person. villains. To be a villain in any what movie, happened? you have you could, like be, you could be <laughs> ugly. Danny DeVito was a penguin and Batman, right? But you had a fucking cast. Um, Michelle Pfeiffer as Catwoman, right? Yeah, but Catwoman is not strictly a villain. She's she's a back and forth. What and she's a matter? love interest for Bruce Wayne. But what Wayne. I'm saying is, it's Bruce true. Wayne is a, is a it's beautiful true. specimen of a comic man. book with a regular... You're the fucking comic book. That's why I don't really like those fucking comic books. <laughs> Penguin is the only so ugly person know. in the she movie, though. She should have though. a dog in this fight. Huh? She, she does. This is the best dog in the fight right now. <laughs> but Penguin is the only ugly person in the movie. Everybody else is beautiful. Samuel L. Jackson is not attractive. And he's you don't like Michael Keaton? Some people find I think, Samuel L. Jackson I think if there's anything we've learned in the 21st century with the advancements of the internet is that everybody finds someone, even someone grotesquely disgusting, appealing and attractive... So everyone's beautiful in their own way. Just depends on who's looking at you. Do, 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 do. Well, like I said, the more you know. Superhero movies are not for women. There are for men. Just but who like was telling me? Was either you or George book. was telling me that like they did a survey and like forty percent of. Oh yeah, well, forty-five percent of the audience for comic books and and those kind of things are, are female. Oh, for comic yeah. books and like comic cons and stuff like that, movies, um, all kinds of stuff like that. Forty percent of the audience is women. Female. That's some bullshit thing. What is that survey on? A hundred? I don't have no fucking. First of all, first of all, I'm a mathematician. Statistics are unreliable. They always have a margin of error. And who was your sample size? You don't know who the fuck it was. Anecdotally, though, I'm sorry, women are hugely involved in the nerd community. The biggest nerds that I know are all women. When I go to a con, it, it, it observation-wise, it's 50% women. And those women are passionate nerds. They're fully committed. But that's not they what I'm talking com- about. I'm talking about these DC and those comic book. But that's what I'm talking about like, too. Those women read comic books. Is she, is, the, is a character B? Is she skinny? No, she's like a, she looks, She's you know, regular, yeah. Regular. It's a cartoon. Exactly. That's what I'm trying to say. It, Steven Universe, right? The the girls and the show. They're, 
Um, Amethyst is skinny, right? Garnet has is like a certain it's other like shape. It's like a little chunky, yeah. Yes, chunky, and then Garnet is shaped differently. Why? Because it was created by a woman. Well, I think that's, that's what I'm trying I to say. I think if your point is that you're saying that there needs to be more women representation in terms of writers and creators so that they do present more different body types, I agree with that. The, the thing is, is that that's the problem, though, is that the reason why women get so involved is because there are so many women who are super passionate about this and they and they love this stuff, but they feel rejected by it because, like you said, they see the yeah. same woman over and, and over and over again. If I, to yet, com- if I go to a comic book store, it's a total turnoff for any woman. You don't want to go see to a comic book store and what do you see? Boobs. Boobs, right? And this out. It's really offensive. It's really fucking offensive. I do not want to... Show yeah. to my nieces. I don't want to show it to my nieces. No, I can't even imagine what it's like to walk into a store and then see, like, exactly. that's just sexualized thing. pictures of that's, your own sex. It is. And that's the thing, is that that's why, like, as a as a, a female nerd, there's always, you know, it's really hard to be a female nerd and not become more interested in that, social yeah. justice and feminist issues because it's like you sit there and you love these stories and you read them, but every time you read them, you, you there's always this niggling sensation in the back of your head. Like, so apparently to be a superhero, it's a heroine, I have to put tape on my nipples and like wear fishnet tights and like do splits in the air just and like at, my you know what I mean? Like right. every it's Listen, true. Just look at the cosplay yeah. when you go over there. They're all half naked. Well, they're all half naked. I well, mean, I the argument could be made like Batman. He has to work out. He has to have some <laughs> certain physicality <laughs> to be a superhero. And, I I'll, mean, ca- and I'll counter. And I'll counterpoint that the patriarchy hurts men too, and there are unrealistic portrayals of men as well. And but yet they still have a position of power where so many times even a woman superhero gets her power taken away and ends up having to get saved by somebody else. It's very difficult for female characters to have, like, I mean, there have been whole arcs that have just been, like, so fiercely discussed. Like, one thing comes to mind is the House of M and the Scarlet Witch. Like, her story is legendary among the feminist community and feminist discussion because of her portrayal, because of the way that she's basically... She her character is made by rape. She gets like raped a bunch of times. She's her her whole story about how she's this power. She's one of the most powerful beings in the universe, and it's all about having to destroy her. You see what I'm saying? And it and it gets very big, and it gets very in, in microcosm. Like the discussion about it gets very like intense because it's like it, I don't know. You have to read the whole. I would series. have to read more about yeah. that. Wait, wait, before I'm, I can I'm comment just talking on about it. Wonder Woman, and women don't care about that shit. It's never it. They're so never there's no women little, do care about Wonder Woman. There is a little girl somewhere that I like Wonder is Wonder Woman. I, I'm sure that's what I want because I like the original. What Linda Wonder Carter. Woman? Linda Carter and the cartoon that you show me with her. It, it's a di- she doesn't listen to me. She does not compare. She cannot. Natalia, the wrestler, she's Wonder Woman. She's amazing. She doesn't have this, the regular body. They were never cast because she's not a good actress. But I'm just saying, like, they could have cast somebody better. That's all I'm saying. I do, th- I do think. The casting, I know, the it made it, should get fired. Like, I'm not, tr- I'm not trying to, do, like, it. she's a beautiful woman and I have no problem with that. It's not about that. It's about the fact I that I do them. think that they cast someone they only cast classically, them. like, beautiful in a very Hollywood sense. And I think that that, she's missing that. takes... I think that takes away from Wonder Woman because I don't think, like, I think, you know, d- there's different drawings, but, like, you, I don't know, I just, I imagine her far more powerful, like, in structure. I'm like, I imagine yeah. her tall and, like, but she's supposed to be imposing. She's supposed when I think to be of an Amazon woman, I think of, strong, like, a seven things. foot tall woman with, like, yeah. Angela Bassett biceps. I don't think about... I'm not gonna go out on a limb right now until I see her in Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice okay. in the year 2016. She might be good because I, and I didn't see her think act. what's his name was gonna be good in... No, and um, Guardians of the Galaxy. Chris Pratt? No. This Drax the Destroyer? Oh, Drax. Like, Batista? Batista. Batista. Right? I didn't think he was gonna be good. But he, was, he was good. He was good. Also in 2016, after we watched Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice... The DC Universe is going to explode exponentially with the film Suicide Squad about a group of misfit DC villains that are going to come together to perform either government missions or clandestine mercenary operations. Mm -hmm. It's poised to be the next Guardians of the Galaxy as it's going to come out in August around the Guardians of the Galaxy slot. 
and is about a group of uh, misfits and stuff like that. Are you excited about Suicide Squad, Danielle? I don't know. Do you yet. even know anything about the Suicide Squad? Have you ever heard of I, the Suicide Squad? I have heard of the Suicide Squad. I know briefly about the Suicide Squad. But from I what? Know. From Arrow? Yeah, I don't know. You're not excited? I don't know. Honestly, see, when I told you, I'm not that excited about any of these DC things. DC has literally gone to a point with me now with their movies where you better prove it. You gotta prove it first. I gotta see it. I can't. I can't make judgments. I can't be excited. Quit playing games with my heart. I'm done. Playing I told you I'm done. I know who's excited about that movie. Oh, Mr. J's excited about that movie. Huh? I don't know. That one's the one that's kind of like iffy. Because I don't really know. What are they gonna do with it? What are they gonna do? With it? It's gonna be. It's gonna be. Is it gonna tie into everything else, or is it gonna be its own thing? What? See, what I don't get is how are you gonna have all these supervillains show up before Before they're in a movie, like as supervillains? Yeah. You know, how are they already on the uh, trying to make up for their sins before they've committed sins against super uh, superheroes? Mm -hmm. So maybe we should be excited then about. Are they tying it into Arrow? Superman, Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice. Maybe it's going to have, like, every DC supervillain or something. No, I can't. And it'll be amazing? No so way. It will not be amazing. It'll just be crowded. No! My fanboy dreams will take over. It's going to have the entire DC universe in it. I think okay? they should just fire everyone and make Patton Oswalt the creative director of everything. That would be, that would be entertaining for a mm-hmm. little bit, but I don't think that he has the financial prowess to manage... Such fun. You don't know nothing about Pat Oswalt? That's neither here nor there. <laughs> so you're on the fence about Suicide Squad. You're on the fe- uh, you're on the fence about Suicide Squad. I'm less off the fence about Suicide Squad. So let's move on to the well, year. I mean, you can't even say anything about it because you don't even know like what it's about or what characters or how can I get excited about nothing? Well, David Ayer, the guy who did, I believe. Uh, um, end of watch. End of watch. He does like cop movies. Yeah. I think maybe he did Training Day. Maybe not. I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know. Indecisive podcast. Unsure podcast. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Write us. Tweet us at Vundablog. V u n d a b l o g. Uh, give me the facts. Um, so we talked about Wonder Woman coming out in 2017. How exciting that's going to be. And then, big news. Justice League is going to be split into two movies, and Justice League Part 1 will drop in 2017. So a year after Batman fights Superman, they're going to get a team together and kick some butt. I thought it was, it's not two years after, it's not 2018? According to Wikipedia, it's 2017. Okay. It's a year later? One Good year later. God, what is this? I think that's why they pushed it back because they're probably doing like all three movies back to back. Probably filming them all. Yeah, they're probably doing it like they did Back to the Future Part Two and Three, just Who's all in one giant Deadpool? city. Uh, nobody. Nobody. Maybe Ryan Reynolds is going to be in it. Maybe but not. But see, and this is this is why you should not have been Hal Jordan because Ryan Reynolds is Deadpool. He's not Hal Jordan, and now they're going to feel like nervous about casting him because he's already played a superhero in a failed movie about a superhero. Well, I mean, he was Deadpool in X Men Origins. I, I, that was blasphemous. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even want to but call him Deadpool. Failed, really. Yes, it was. Okay, but we're not Deadpool. talking about that stuff. We're talking about Justice League Part 1. I'm talking about it. Danny's not excited about it. <laughs> You're not excited about it, Danny? About what? Justice League Part 1. The fact that they're chopping it up and it's so Steven, big. Ben what did Affleck, I tell you, Steven? Ben Affleck was, what's his name? Batfleck. What? Daredevil. Daredevil. And he's going to be Batman. That's true. I don't have a problem with that. You're an actor. You should, you should play a different role. No, it's not, it's not the actor that I don't think can do it. I think, I don't know if it's the audience that will... You know, like, is Green Lantern too fresh in people's mind or has enough time passed? These two are the enough biggest. time has passed between Daredevil and Batman. Ben Affleck has redeemed himself because he's done a bunch of movies and he's won he's some Oscars big, and he's all kind of stuff. Is it going to be a Deadpool movie? He's just be a, oh, no, it's right. a Deadpool movie. Well, they released that leaked test footage of Deadpool and, people were excited and everybody about. really liked it. Yeah. So they were like, oh, we should do it after and all. You guys are a fan. I mean, I don't really care. I'm telling you, I only watch these movies because of George. I don't really... I won't even it. lie. I'm kind of over the Deadpool shtick. So maybe it's good that this doesn't come out for another couple of years. 
let it die down a little bit. Okay, but this is not the Deadpool podcast. This is the DC Extravaganza podcast. We're talking about DC, man. No, you're talking about Deadpool. Okay. I'm talking about just see part one. Okay. We're going to see the Why just greatest the, superheroes in the world. Batman versus Superman? No, no, that's after... <laughs> After Batman vs. Superman, they have the Justice League movie where everybody finally comes together. If the first if that the movie first, is successful. That's, that's the thing. Ah, we have to see no. Batman vs. Superman. It is going to be successful because they have it all planned out till 2020. Yeah, because the first one sucked. I'm just letting you know. No, Man of Steel was okay. garbage. A it was okay. It was mediocre garbage. piece, but it was a great piece. It's like they a, killed it's Kevin a Costner. You don't kill Kevin Costner in a movie. <laughs> it's a C+. Plus. It's garbage. It's a C+. Plus. Man C of plus. Steel. Man of Steel is But this one has man. I think it, his name is Chris Terrio who wrote Argo so he's gonna definitely make up for the past How? He's gonna revert he's like oh Superman was just dreaming in the first one and that's what's gonna be No it's just he's, it's gonna be a better screenplay the, Maybe The problem with like, the last movie was a screenplay Maybe it's, a it's like writer. Marvel versus DC and it's like a battle of energies like in Okay, in Legend of Korra, they have the good and the <laughs> evil, and they're constantly fighting each other, right? Because they need to, and I'm not saying one is evil and one is good, I'm just saying there's light and dark, okay? And they're constantly intertwined in battle, because if they, and they have to be locked in this battle, because if one gets free of the other one, it'll become all-encompassing and take over the world. Well, guess what? One day, some stupid idiot says, let me help this dark scary guy and lets him loose and then he gets huge and he's like I'm taking over the world now so maybe and then the, the good one gets all small and weak and she has to go into like a creature to become powerful so maybe this is what's happening with Marvel and DC right now Marvel has broken loose from its entangled web of DC and has become all encompassing and powerful and until Marvel begins to fall DC's power is weakened and that is why they can't seem to make decent movies. Oh, I do not believe <laughs> in any mutually exclusive no. karma. Um, I think it's possible Maybe to we have can two good properties can going at the same in, time. In a world with two good properties at the same time, can yes. we do it? Yes. Okay. It can happen. There's enough talent to go around. People are trying just, hard on every front. They just gave David Goyer too much creative reign on Man of Steel. Yes. Like, he didn't... You know, the reason why the Batman movies were so good is because it was him and the Nolan brothers working together as a team. Like, yeah, this David Esquire is not as talented as he thinks he no, is. No, he's really not. Like, he's, <laughs> he's, he's really not. written some stinkers like Blade Trinity. Even Blade 2 wasn't that great. No, don't talk. Don't Even be Blade smirch two. Blade 2. I like Blade 2. Blade 2 is underrated. I haven't seen any That's, of the because they're trash. <laughs> the second blade is more of a stylistic Guillermo del Toro saving than it is David Goyer's writing, because his writing is garbage. He's has he's not gonna have his hands on Justice League Part One, okay? Is he gonna have it on Batman? Well, he he Superman? did write he All did right. help write the story to it, but the screenplay has been written by uh, the Argo uh, screenwriter uh, Chris Terrio. So it should be better. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. We're hoping. What would you want to see in a Justice League Part One movie? You want to see the full team? You want to see? You have to see the full team because why would else would you call it Justice League? Okay. Um, Batman versus Superman to so introduce everybody and then Justice League. They should League just ask everybody. permission from the animated series and just do the same thing in the movie. Okay. I wish. Yeah, Justice League War. That's smart. Justice League War was great. Yeah. You should just copy it. Yeah, you should just copy it. Who's Take playing? Justin. Who's playing? Um, John Green Martin. Green Lantern. No, not Green Lantern. Who's playing? Um, Cyborg. No, there's Martian. no Martian Manhunter. Martian Manhunter. There is no. There is no more. What the there is no fuck? <laughs> they're cutting him out. Done. Done. I'm done with the film. Because I'm done already. Fit. I'm done. Nope, I'm done. I'm done. There's no question. Because in the new 52, no. they took in out the new 52 Manhunter. They took out Manhunter. Uh -huh. 
Mm-hmm. And they put in cyborg uh-huh. because they didn't have an African American member. Oh, they had to member. interchange the black people. Okay. Oh, oh, John Jones is not black. Green he's Martian. When he he's green becomes Martian his man. human self, he is a man of color. He is a black sometimes. man. Sometimes. Sometimes. I've seen him white too. A lot of times he's black. He and and in the Justice League Martian. series, he's a, he's a black man when he's not. Daniel, there's only he could turn any one color because he's Martian. That's bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. It's he's bullshit. Black, he's it's, green. I don't care. He's a Martian. His voice is his voice is a man of color. He was voiced by a man of color. Yeah. Yeah, Carl Bullshit. Lumley. Bullshit. Green. It's crap. It's crap is what I tell you. There's only uh. enough space for one black person. There's only one space for <laughs> one person of color, right? And green no, or No, Jason Momoa. We got Jason Momoa as Aquaman. Give us yes, some props. Maybe that's why. And maybe black that's why they black. made Jason Momoa Aquaman. He's Hawaiian. I was he's, doing. he's not black. But uh-huh. he's not white. He's, you know, he's mixed race. He's mixed exactly. Race. Yeah. So a year he's after Justice League, a now. year after Justice League, Jason Momoa gets his own spotlight, mm-hmm. and Aquaman's coming out. And it's confirmed today that they will have Black Manta in the movie, mm-hmm. they will have Aquaman's brother Orm in the movie. No. Probably they not. did not confirm that. And who could play no, Aqualad to Jason Aqualad. Momoa's <laughs> Aquaman? Aqualad... In, I just want Young Justice to be made into a movie. Oh, That's I my problem. Who. Jimmy Uso. I just, oh. want, I just want Young Justice to be made into a movie. That's all I want. That's what I want. That's, I, I think that's what I just keep wanting in my mind. It won't happen. Well, they're going to have the Titans Damn show. Damn them. They're going to have the Titans show. You can watch TNT, Titans. Yeah. They know Nightwing, drama. Nightwing, Raven, Starfire. They are going to have a Teen Titans movie? Yes. Like a live a, action a Titans, one? Not Teen Titans. A Titans. So they're grown ups. Yeah, Nightwing. Yeah, they're gonna be in their twenties. So who's gonna be in their twenties? New actors. Who's yeah. playing? Is it live See, that's action? Why, yeah. That's I, why okay, I'm actually them. a little excited for that. Yeah. Whoa! That's Whoa! Why. Yes, DC. Yeah. We, we got, got a you. pulse. We got one. We got stuff but it's the thing. For you. This is the thing. This is what's sad is that I love Batman. You know how much I love Batman. I love Batman more than so many things. I spend half my time arguing with my coworker Anthony about why Batman is a superhero, and he goes, "He's not a superhero because he doesn't have superpowers." I'm like, "I don't care. He's a superhero in spirit. <laughs> He's a superhero in spirit and justice and nobility." And I argue with him all day, every day, and I'm tired of seeing Batman. I'm tired of it. They think they have. Ma- how many more times can we watch Bruce Wayne watch his parents get shot? How many more times can we see this guy put on a freaking cape and cow? It's easy, well, it's palatable, it's good, we know it sells. Not enough people bought the Wonder Woman movie in 2009, the animated movie. It didn't have the sales. That's why they stopped making, like, featuring. And it's not just her, like, it's a Green Lantern, too. And, like, that's why now it's, like, Justice League, Flashpoint, uh, Justice League, Aquaman. Throne of Atlantis, Aquaman. Yeah. Like, they won't put, like, any of these characters on their, like, on their own title. They'll put Justice League and then subtitle. Part of the problem may, it may Flash. not be the characters. It may be the storylines that they give the characters. Yeah, most of the No, because Wonder Woman, get tired the animated them. Wonder Woman movie was great. It was amazing. It was yeah. awesome. Well, maybe it was just, but, you know, maybe it was just underrated. So. Yeah, the, the animated Wonder Woman movie. The one that you great. showed me. With Nathan Fillion. And Carrie well, Russell. And Carrie Russell. And Rosario and Dawson. And cast. Nathan Fillion as my guy. <laughs> Nathan Fillion should be the Green Lantern. I don't care what anybody He's says. He's too old. He's too old. I, you should give be. Him, Who cares? Pump him full of Botox and get no. him on the goddamn no, screen. You need somebody Make him who's lose young weight. so you can get them for nine movies. Uh-huh. No, but they should cast him. You as need as Idris as Elba as Jon Stewart. He's too old, oh, too. Yes. He's like 50. Who cares? Yeah, John Stewart gets old. old. But he's older. He has gray hair. Need somebody like he Michael B. Jordan. Hair. He needs a 20-year-old. No, yeah, you should give, you should give him a 20 year That's why I, I'm excited with the, the Titans, right? Because they're going to be young actors. Yeah. Because you see the X-Men, the new X-Men class? What are the, the first that? class. The first class? I never saw the old X-Men because it looked like trash. But that one, <laughs> I saw it, and it was really good, and they gave... Are they going to recast Anna so. Paquin? I thought it was good. No. I'm tired of her. She's not rogue. I'm done with her now. Okay, we're not talking about the well, I'm done with I her. Think not the Titans. I like that because, because they're going to cast new actors. Yeah. And, and, well, which I don't know. Right. I think she's doing the They can train, recast. But. I <laughs> so a year after... But yeah, supposedly, sure. it would be too much money to get Famke Jansen and... Off the rails! You're off the rails. Off the rails. No, Anthony Jansen's done. There's no oh my more God. of that. I should have never brought that. I'm sorry. So a year after Justice League Part 1 comes out, 
and we hopefully see the Flash in that movie because he's an integral part of the Justice and League. And we see a recast Rogue. And, wait, wait, wait. and they, they announced the Flash too. <laughs> we will see the Flash as oh, Ezra Miller, Ezra Miller, star yeah. of We Need to Talk About Kevin, where in that movie he shot up a school with a bow and arrow. Where? Talk the that. new Flash for the TV, for the movies is this kid Ezra Miller. He better get peppy fast. Who's that guy? He was in this independent movie called We Need to Talk About Kevin. Mm-hmm. And in that movie is all about how people are scared about this kid who's going to snap. Mm-hmm. And then when he does snap... But why it's are you very talking about the movie, movie that he did? Because how can That's you cast only movie someone is. who's like well, only played the darkest oh, you know evil? I've never seen that movie nobody else <laughs> <laughs> But I mean, okay, let's make uh, You're an actor, Steven. You need range. You can't play the same fucking I know, but we have like the best Flash on it TV right matter. now. And they're like, no, matter. this one is the one this who's going to be the Flash. Played, um, no, it's Breaking not. Bad, right? He played a dad on a funny show. And then he did like a... a it's like, not a anything crack, against you know? Grant Gustin. They just want to keep their universe separate so that they... The problem with the shield... Which, no! Which he's is why way shield. too dainty. He looks like a boy elf. I don't want him playing the Flash. <laughs> boy elf. I don't want him on the Flash. He's supposed to be young. No. This Flash is, is no. Young. This Flash is, is different. Young and, like, has he's energy. a boy elf. I don't like it. He and that's what he looks like now. Yeah. That's not what he's going to look like in 2016. Yeah. Really? You think this stuff is going to fill out? He'll fill out. He'll have <laughs> he's he's fill out. Out. Well, The same thing with Wonder Woman. You're not going to see her for another three years. He's going to running class? Every picture of him on Google Images is like <laughs> the worst douche baggiest <laughs> hipster bullshit. I hate this guy. Oh my god, <laughs> get him out of my face. Okay, so moving on. Wait, wait, <laughs> hipster bastards. Say, the best thing, and a lot of people agree, if you watch AMC Movie Talk with uh, John Ca- Campanella, I think his name is. Who's right? that guy? He, okay. he, he does it with John Schnapp. I, I know I totally got his, wrong, his name wrong, but... Um, uh, one of the best things that DC does is keep their universe separate. That he's way, very pretty, they don't have to be like, oh, we can't use this character or that character for the TV show. Where like Shield, they have to put like, it's not even B or C list. It's like D E list. Yes, like, oh, yes, sir. This is from fan. someone who's not watching the show. And not even the original Deathlock. Not even the original Deathlock. Talking about Agents of Shield. Fuck you on your Agents of Shield. Fuck you're not even watching That's, the show. It's crap. It's just, it's not crap at it's all. Colson. It's you get to watch no the universe go on when the movies aren't going on. Exactly. But it's going on with people I don't care about. <laughs> but you <laughs> grow with them. You know, I mean, like is there a comic Flash on has the Firestorm. Comic books, they're not important. Weather Wizard, they have people yeah. like who does Shield have? Like yeah. the Absorbing Man. Instead of having flashy characters. That have to rely on superpowers and gimmicks. They try to have humans. Boring. If like I want Batman, to watch a human who's show, a human. I'll watch a human show. It's supposed to be more. It's a team of Batman. See. It's a team of Batman. That's just where. Batman. That should have been on Netflix. And yeah. Daredevil should have been on TV. F Marvel for treating Daredevil like trash. That's yeah. bullshit. Netflix is the premiere. It's you can premium. Blame the Daredevil movie that did not do on. It was shitty. It was no, really it wasn't good. That bad. I love no, it. No, it wasn't that bad. Your sister it's likes it. You like it. It wasn't that bad. I like it. I like the director's cut. It's very good. The director's cut made it even better. Yes. And mm-hmm. the movie wasn't that bad. I, I never seen the director. Okay. But so, it didn't do well. It made like five dollars. No, it didn't. It made plenty of money. It did not. not. It made over a hundred million dollars. It did not. Money. Did it do well? It did like one fifty, I think. Okay, but how much was the budget? Like one. It 16? just came down to uh, what the reason why they didn't make any more. If it didn't make profit, it's a failure. No, it made profit. I'm telling you, it made profit because, I, because I they did an electro movie right after it. Yeah, you're right. They yeah. did do they that. Did that. A t- oh, that I never saw it, but. Okay, so right and after I love Jennifer Garner, um, she should be Wonder Fucking Woman. She's too old. Yes, she should be Jennifer Garner exactly. is Wonder Woman. There she's got know. the perfect build. Yes, she's, she's too got old. a super. She's like forty something. Her, her, her husband is Batman. Her husband is Batman. Oh, but you sexist! Old Batman. You se- oh my god, that was the sexism <laughs> oh right there. God, that that was so sexism right, right there. You listen, she would be but perfect. Everybody else is young. Superman's listen, young. But you know why? They're not an old listen, Superman. You know why? It's a young Superman. It's a young Flash. Superman Everybody's looks young. ageless because he's listen, ageless. That's why I like Jennifer Garner. Because she, see, she's thin, but she's athletic. She's athletic. Better, like a superhero. She's an alien. Jennifer Lawrence, and, maybe. And, and, and not Jennifer that, Garner. Not only that, Jennifer Garner. You gotta sign some act. By the time she, she finishes act. making she the movie, she's gonna be sh- 60. 
I say we time travel again, Lucy. Lawless. So wait, you could be Iron Man. Exactly, and be exactly. Oh, what Robert Downey Jr. will play Iron Man until he's fucking gray haired and in yeah. a goddamn walker. But oh, really? let's not put her on the movie. She's too he old. He could be because I he's in an Iron Suit. Oh, <laughs> he doesn't need God. to be young. <laughs> what about 007, right? He's yeah, I she's know, a Greek right? goddess. She really? has to look at The women that he keeps Just sleeping like with Superman. keep getting younger and younger, and younger. but Henry he gets Cavill. older and older. <laughs> But wait, you like Henry Cavill? Henry he's Cavill's like 30 fucking five. He's not that young. Now I'm just imagining really James Bond being like, the thing I like about high school girls <laughs> <laughs> is that I get older and they stay oh the God. same age. They should have casted Jennifer Garner. Garner. That was Wonder Woman right okay. there. So Danny can be happy yeah. about the casting. When Aquaman if the comes movie out. came out in 2007, it could have been Jennifer Garner. <laughs> You're the no, that is total bullshit. It's if total if they bullshit. had done Joss Whedon's Wonder Woman like they should have done, story. yes, you can't tell an origin story of Wonder. If if she was like an established Wonder Woman, okay, you could have done that. Why do you have to tell an origin story? Because I'm so tired of origin stories. We've I'm never so seen tired of them. I'm so tired of them. We look. Even I'm sorry. in the Linda no, Carter series, bullshit, they didn't do bullshit. the origin but of Wonder I'm, Woman. I'm tired of origin stories. Here's why. Anybody who walks into that audience who has not read a comic book can ask their comic book friend how the Wonder Woman became Wonder Woman. Most people don't even Why know Why do we need to walk in there Why and go, I well, actually, let's learn everything about Wonder Woman's past. I don't care about Wonder well, Woman's past. That's the yes. part in the movie. That's the, one of the best parts of yeah, the movie. Yeah, in the movie, that's the, the, movie. the animated movie. In the animated movie. Her origin? Yeah, they've never yeah. done it before. Not even like in the it. Linda Carter that series. They've never done the can Wonder Woman something? origin. But, but, but wait, 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 wait. How much was her origin? Like five, ten minutes of the film, right? Not an no. entire uh, not film. No, but exactly. Not an entire film built around how did she put on a suit? No, like, was, I don't need a whole a hour of, of, of that. No, it was a lot of it. No, it wasn't that much. I, they just well, it's like the first 30 minutes. The first 30 minutes. That's, that's, that's all you mind. need. 30 minutes. Wrap it up. Move on. 10 years later. Wonder okay, Woman's but you do need a Wonder Woman <laughs> starting from the origin because <laughs> yeah. nobody knows. Nobody's it's never been done. And how about this? How about this then? We can cast Jennifer Garner because here's what we'll do. We'll do one woman origin. We'll put some CGI and smooth out her face. Then <laughs> 10 years will pass and it'll just be her regular face. Okay? Let she doesn't need CGI. She, her she's face beautiful. Is she's flawless. She has not aged. And you know what I like about her? So, she said that she would never do a tummy tuck. She had a baby. People were like, oh, you should do. She's like, I'm not doing that shit. That's my body. I have my baby, and that's it. I love her. Okay. I love her. We can have her as a character. Love her. She doesn't have to be. Oh. She's awesome. And you know what? She can't do Hollywood. There's plenty of characters she can do. When she can't do Hollywood, they were in cast her. They were like, oh, you're like, you're not what we're looking for. You're not pretty. They were so fucking. She's fucking gorgeous. And they were telling her that. And they, because and then, she has a strong jaw. And then, when, and then for Alias, she had the look. They're like, oh, okay, you could be... Exactly. So that's what I'm trying to say. Like, this girl, right? She could be... Okay. She wasn't really cast. By the way, the other I just She wanna, is Wonder Woman. I'm going to wanna, take it back. Because you said <laughs> that Daredevil didn't make a profit. And I don't know about the marketing. I don't know about the marketing. Because maybe the marketing could make it unprofitable. But as far as the production budget, was $78 million. And it made 102 domestically, and the foreign was 76, so it was 179 worldwide. So it's not that it didn't make money; it was critically, critically, it was kind of panned. It didn't, you know, it didn't score as well with the critics. That's why they never did another one. And it was probably too but expensive. It, made money. it was too expensive to get their A-list team back together. Colin Farrell became a bigger star. Michael Clark Duncan, obviously, ben Affleck, was Carter. big. Jen Ben Affleck, oh, Jennifer yeah. Garner, everybody big. became huge. It stars. was expensive. Oh yeah, Colin Farrell became a big star. <laughs> at that point, at that point, he was that point. movies, and he was making a lot of money. But not anymore. And that's what, but that's what we're talking about. We're talking about going back to that time. This was uh, 2003. So, and like, I'm sorry, as as a person who I don't like, I don't want to love celebrity couples, but every now and again, I get into it. How cute would it have been to see Ben Affleck as Batman and Jennifer yeah. Garner as Wonder Woman? That would have been the cutest thing in the world. I'm sorry, moving on. Okay, Failed so opportunities. there are four, no, there's five more movies oh left <laughs> to get through. We have Aquaman coming out. Everyone's going to be stoked for that because Jason Momoa is going to rock it as Aquaman. Yeah. Met him. He was a very Maybe. cool guy. I don't know about that. He's going to make everybody him. wet when he cool plays that. Aquaman. 
Jason Momoa. He's so beautiful. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. It's disgusting. How come Aquaman could be beautiful and young? Okay. I never he said. He's not young. How old is no, he? No, no, no. How old is he? We never said they can't be pretty. 30? It's There's a yeah, difference Jennifer between Jennifer Garner is beautiful. There's no, the difference between being pretty and wearing a postage stamp and pretending yeah. that that is somehow conducive to fighting and yeah. kicking people's asses. They would be naked the entire time. Their she's boobs would just flop out of their outfits. No, she's not. She's Her thing is like up to here. It's a boob. And Have you ever tried to fight in a boussier? I'm going to throw you in a boussier. Worse. It never, was actually worse in the 77 series. I want to see Mr. J fight in a boussier. All the way no, down here. I, I, never said, I never said anything. I never said anything about Wonder She Woman. could be beautiful. She has to be beautiful. It's one of them. She's supposed to be the most gorgeous woman in the world. But, she's a demigod. But the, this no. girl, is, is she's not, listen, when I see her, I don't, I just don't see her. I know, you're saying she's too her. skinny. Okay, no, we get it, we it's get it. It's not even about her body, Wonder Woman. it's about something about her, I don't see it. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't see it either. It's time to talk about some boys, okay? It's time oh, to talk wow. about Billy Batson, the boy who becomes Shazam, and he's gonna fight the Brahma Bull, The Rock, the Rock. as Black Adam, very excited for this movie. 2019. Oh my god. <laughs> Can I so get here Who's sooner? That, see, that's Who's gonna been... be what? Shazam. They haven't Nobody cast knows. it. They haven't cast Shazam yet? No. Okay, that's they're gonna, where they're they gonna get up. Because that should have come out oh. in 2016. That should have taken the spot of Suicide Squad. So, wait, Suicide when is Squad that, that going to be? I don't even I know if they should do a Suicide Squad movie. Oh my god, I want to see Suzanne. That's so good. He's, so cute. He's, He's gonna be so, so cute. They better cast yeah. him. Well, they were yeah. talking about they had they threw out some names for a Suicide Squad. They're they're talking to Ryan Gosling, who you love. No, you guys. Love? Yeah, I love I love Ryan Gosling. He's hot. Tom Hardy. No, <gasps> Ryan Gosling is not my type, but I like him as an actor. Okay, Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy. Yeah, Tom Hardy is my Sam? type. No, 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 in That's Suicide cool. Squad. No, nobody knows. Tom Hardy. These are the people that they're talking. It'll be to. awesome. He came back as Bane. Will Smith. Let's not talk about Bane. Oh, yeah, Will Smith? Is it going to be a suicide club? Oh. No, no, no. They're, these are the people they're talking to. And Who's going to be Amanda Waller? Maybe another girl, I don't know. First of all, I don't want to cast Who's going to be Amanda Waller? Waller? The whole fucking they don't know. Room, so. uh, they don't have any ideas for Amanda Waller? But no, they, they were talking about this. They this should get, uh, Carrie Washington. No. What's, what's the name? Uh, 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 Sibide. Gabori Sibide? Ooh. Yeah. Precious. Oh. Really? She's not old <laughs> enough, but young. She'd be young. As what? As Amanda Waller, she's oh like... Oh, my God. The, that would be great. Yeah. Someone different. Yes, I like that. That's a good idea, Steven. Um, then that same Ooh, old, summer of Shazam. Well, no, never mind. That same summer of Shazam, we get finally Justice League Part 2 that maybe Shazam can be in now since he's already been introduced. Well, they recast Storm as Angela Bassett. I know it's random. One day we'll get a time machine. We'll fix everything. Oh. I just want Angel Bassett to be Storm. Okay. Oh my she god, it's already storm. 11 on 1. Yeah, it's already 11. So. Shut the fuck up. Alright, let's finish. Let's finish. <laughs> Justice League Part 2 is coming out. Um, Cyborg is coming out in 2020. And they're waiting forever for Green Lantern. For Green Lantern in 2020, their last movie. They're trying to wait until everyone erases the memory of the movie that they made back in. But the I, like I think movie. that's a mistake because you know, like uh, Amazing Spider-Man came out like three years and after the last one. And, and I don't even agree with that. I don't understand why we're rebooting Spider-Man. It just came out like five years. And Ryan Reynolds and that girl, they have a because because they, they had <laughs> to keep the license to it. Yeah, they had to make the movie. If not, they're gonna lose to, it back to Marvel. Oh, there's money to be made. So this has been an excellent episode of the Vundacast. We've had the pleasure of having Mrs. J and Mr. J partying the night away, and the number one. Stunner, Danielle here on the ones and twos, kicking one. it old school. I'm just going to get the last word in anyway. Because, oh. hey, at least DC has the balls to announce a woman-led movie. Marvel, where's Black Widow movie? Everybody's talking about it. Phase three. Talking raccoon. Phase three. Talking raccoon. Okay, look, phase three, they still haven't announced it. They're talking about Doctor Strange, Ant-Man. They're talking about... Well, All these people, well, it's still not a black movie. Here's the movie. difference, and I'm sorry, and I'll debate this, but, if, okay, if you're looking at female-led movies in general, I agree with you, but if you're looking at these two specific characters together, Wonder Woman trumps Black Widow. Yeah. They've written yeah. Black Widow up and made her a more prominent character, but in terms of, in yeah. terms of canon, this is well, why... Well, that's the problem with Marvel. But they this don't is have why, a lot of powerful women, why, except for Storm. That's not true. They have a bu- They have women. I have been Steven. This has been the <laughs> Vundercast. women. The argument will rage on forever into the night.
<laughs> they never haven't built dying. them up to the same level. Where are all these chicks then, in comics? And, um, here's my issue. DC's built Wonder Woman up to that level, but they still have waited, like, what, 30 motherfucking years to make a movie about They've it. tried. Bullshit! Clive and Slander! Tried. Josh Go to Vundablog.com. David E. Kelly tried. To write a movie? Tweet no, at Linda Blog. He tried to do a TV show, and Joss Whedon tried to do a movie. Joss Whedon's Wonder Woman movie would have been a revelation. Wondercast, give yeah. it up for Wondercast, man! What an adorable name. <laughs>